Welcome back to Atreyu News. Breaking. President Trump makes huge announcement from Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago, sorry. President Trump announces General H.R. McMaster will take over the role of National Security Advisor after General Michael Flynn resigned. Well, I just uh, wanted to announce, uh, we've been working all weekend, very diligently, very hard, that General H.R. McMaster will become the National Security Advisor. Uh, he's a man of tremendous talent and tremendous experience. I watched and read a lot over the last two days. He is highly respected by everybody in the military, and we're very honored to have him. He also has known for a long time General Keith Kellogg, who I also have gotten to know, and he's a terrific man, and they're going to be working together. And uh, Keith is going to be Chief of Staff, and I think that combination is something very, very special. Uh, I met with many other people. Uh, tremendous respect for the people I met with. I know uh, John Bolton, we're going to be asking to work with us in a somewhat different capacity. John is a terrific guy. We had some really good meetings with him, knows a lot, uh, has a good, a, good, uh, a good number of ideas that I must tell you I agree very much with. So we'll be talking to John Bolton in a different capacity. Uh, and we'll be talking to some of the other generals that I've met that I've really, really uh, gained a lot of respect for. So. I think with that, I'd like to ask HR to say a couple of words. I'd like to ask Keith to say a couple of words, and then I'll see you back in Washington. We're leaving right now for Washington and the White House. Uh, General? Mr. President, thank you very much. I'd just like to say what a privilege it is to be able to continue serving our nation. I'm grateful to you for that opportunity, and I look forward to joining the national security team and doing everything I can to advance and protect the, the interests of the American people. Thank you very much, sir. You're going to do a great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. General? Mr. President, thank you for the opportunity to continue to serve. Um, I'm very honored by it, very privileged by it, and I'm very uh, honored and privileged to serve alongside H.R. McMaster, who I've known for years as well. Uh, he's a great statesman and a great soldier. Thank you, sir. And so are you. Thank, thank you very sir. much. What a team. Sir. This is a great team. We're very, very honored. Our country is lucky to have two people like this. And frankly, after having met so many of the people in the military, we're lucky to have all of them. So thank you all very much. I'll see you back in Washington. We're leaving now. Thank you. Excellent. I knew it wouldn't take long. America has so many champions. I knew it wouldn't take long before another hero would rise to take Flynn's place. You know, I liked Flynn. I looked to McMaster's future with great interest. Vice President Pence Vice President Pence just told the media exactly what the American people wanted to hear and it's viral. Look at Mike Pence. I remember when he debated uh, Hillary Clinton's running mate, uh, nameless asshole, what's his name? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. But Mike Pence just kept getting interrupted and he even won the liberals over, which was hilarious. Tim Kaine, that's what it is. Sure. The president and I strongly support a free and independent press. But you can anticipate uh, that the president uh, and uh, all of us will continue to call out the media when they play fast and loose with the facts. And the truth is that we have in President Trump someone who has a unique ability to speak directly to the American people. And when the media gets it wrong, I promise you President Trump will take his case straight to the American people to set the record straight. Well said, Mike Pence. Very well said. I think the thing that gives it away the most is that if the media covered Trump properly and truthfully, and when he did something right, they, you know, I wouldn't say praise him for it or whatever, just if he did something right, call it out as it is. They'd be so much more popular and they'd make so much more money, and then it would make people like me obsolete. Because if, if the media actually told the truth, I wouldn't exist. Why would I? Why would any of us exist? So I do find it funny that they're creating their own demise, uh, seemingly deliberately. And we remember this. This shirt never gets old. Spoiler alert, Hillary wins. 
in June 2016, every every liberal wanted Hillary to win. Well, I can't, we can't say all, because there was a large percentage of Bernie Sanders supporters as well. This was a month before Dems learned that the primary election was rigged again. Oh, I see. Group of Hollywood for Hillary. Hollywood for Hillary? Of course the Hollywood. Why would you praise Hollywood for being with Hillary? They're a bunch of degenerate morons. Half of them don't even think, and it's obvious by what they say. Volunteers supporting, spoiler alert, Hillary wins shirts at the rally in Culver City. That's awesome. Ugh. Conservative women are far better looking. March 2016 polls show Sanders pulling ahead of Clinton. Sanders learned the hard way that it was the DNC, not the people, that decides who gets to run for president. Look at this. California. 68 to 26. Wow. Razor thin there. Help, I've fallen in the polls and I can't get out. <laughs> That's awesome. If I remember correctly, Bernie Sanders ended up losing California by like 20 points or something. But we all know that the primaries were rigged. 